Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports and your good news story of the weekend as a South African fan on the back of uh, Springboks beating Wales 41 points to 13. The Blitzbox have officially secured Olympic qualification, beating Great Britain 14 points to 5 in the Olympic repechage over in Monaco to secure qualification for the Paris Olympics after a bit of a disastrous season. Um, it's the first time they've actually had to go this route to qualify for the Olympics. Usually we have done well enough in the series um, and with our rankings to get into the Olympics. This time having to do it the hard way, having to dig deep, go over to Monaco after a last long season and get the job done. It's exactly what they've done. And uh, very interestingly, defensively, we're so solid in the final, which is, I think something which has always been a hallmark of good Blitzbox side. And it was good to see that side of the Blitzbox uh, rear its head once again today. In terms of uh, the chances that the Blitzbox potentially have in the Olympics, it's a good squad. You know, there are lots of players in the side uh, who are top quality players. You know, you've got a Salvin Davids who is absolutely world class. You've got a Roscoe Speckman who's come back now, um, a bit of an older player, uh, 35 years old, a former world player of the series, for example. You've got players like Shilton van Beek, the experience of Sevilla Zoe Zwapi, Ryan Oersteisen, been around the block, Christy Krobler, nice player. But they've just not been at their best so far this season. Finishing seventh, which is the same as the season before, the joint lowest we've ever actually finished in a series. Um, and it just looked like a shadow of ourselves. Things did get a bit better. There was a change in the coaching staff. Phyllis Neyman coming in or taking over the, the, the team himself. He is still, in theory, an interim head coach. Uh, only retired a few years ago. Was playing under Neil Powell during that sort of golden era of uh, Blitzbox and, and Staff Sevens rugby. Um, but we've not looked like that side for a while, unfortunately. Basically since the, the, the World Cup. Um, and uh, this season... Well, it was looking a bit, uh, bit, bit sketchy. We had some nice moments um, and started off reasonably well. And then we kind of just dive bomb. So, you know, that sort of shows you that there's the South African side has not just forgotten how to play rugby. We're not, you know, we, we did win the Dubai Sevens this season. Um, before that, it was the Dubai Sevens last season. So we only won two series um, or two events, basically, in the, final, in the last two seasons, which when you consider 2001-22, we won four. Um, shows you how it's been a tough time um, for the Blitz box, but the quality is there. You don't win these series by accident. And um, under the guidance of Peter Slayman, who's very new, obviously, to coaching, but not new to the Sevens uh, circuit at all, it'll be interesting to see how these guys do, how they how they stack up. There, there are Olympic medalists in, in the squad. Philip Slayman himself um, is an Olympic medalist. We won a bronze in 2016. We finished fifth. Um, back in 2020 in Tokyo, which is actually 21, which is not that long ago. And, and a lot of these players have, have got plenty of experience. Zane Davids, he's been around the block um, for plenty of time. Um, and uh, we need these players to step up and to start uh, start uh, coming good. I mean, this is a team that two years ago won the Commonwealth gold. And I always remember that incredible game against Fiji where we just, we couldn't, I mean, back in that, that entire weekend, that was probably one of the most, Dominant performances I've ever seen um, from the Blitzbox throughout throughout that tournament. I mean, it was absolutely mental. Um, you know, from 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 starting with you know forty six nil against Malaysia, I think we beat we hammered Scotland, and then right at the end they're going and beating Fiji thirty one points to seven in the final to now having to qualify for the Olympics is a weird trajectory. But momentum is a strange thing. They will be so buoyed by the fact that they had to come and qualify and they managed to get the job done. Maybe this is the reality check that they've needed. Maybe this is something that kind of brings them down to scale and says, you know what, guys, we actually got to earn this. We've got to um, take a step back and go back to our roots and, and earn our way back into being known as the blitz box of all and being known as one of the top seven sides because they certainly haven't been it uh, since basically that final in 2022. The past few seasons have been very disappointing. An opportunity now, though, tell you what, go and get an Olympic gold and uh, all is forgiven for the bits box. If you watched the game, let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you didn't, just let me know what you think our chances are. You know, can we turn things around? Can this blitz box side genuinely compete at the Olympics? Or uh, do you think we're going to go up there and uh, make up some numbers? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.